is the love of Allah. The love of Allah is to love what He loves. To love what Allah loves, you love righteousness. You hate crime. You love those who are pious, those who are decent, those who are hardworking, those, and you dislike those who are lazy, those who are corrupt. To really and truly embrace Islam is to embrace your purpose in existence. So I invite you tonight to join us in this path of Islam. I invite you tonight, you know, many of you may have been wondering, many of you have asked, and I've gotten a lot of people over the years who have asked, how do I become Muslim? It's very simple. The first step is belief. You have to believe. Believe that there is only one God, first and foremost. If you believe that there is only one God, that's step one. Step two is believing that the Prophet Muhammad is indeed the messenger of Allah. Believing that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the most perfect messenger of Allah. <coughs> and therefore, you believe that the Qur'an is the written word of God. So the first major step is belief. Belief that there is only one God. Belief that Muhammad is the messenger of God. And if you believe that, then you make a testimony. You make a statement that says, I bear witness that there is no God but the one true God. I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. In Arabic, the phrase is, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And the English translation can't really do it justice because when you say Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, you're not just saying, I bear witness there is no God but God. La ilaha illallah is so much deeper. It means that there is no illa. Illa is in Arabic an object of worship, an object of devotion, an object of love. So you love most and best. There is nothing worthy of your attention, devotion, of love, except for Allah and what He loves. This is the true meaning of La ilaha illallah. And then the second half, Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And by bearing witness to this, by believing in this, you must believe what comes through Muhammad, and that is the Qur'an and Hadith. So, if you believe that, come with me tonight. Come with me and we'll, we'll share this. We'll share this experience. It's easy to say. The words are very easy to say, now that you know what they mean. And I'm going to run through it a couple of times real slowly, and you can practice with me. Because if you don't mean it, it doesn't mean anything. But you say, and I'll say it slowly, Ashadu, La, Ilaha, Illallah, Wa, Ashadu, Anna, Muhammada, Rasulullah. Once again, that means, I bear witness that there is no God except the one true God. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God. So one more time. Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay. That's two times for practice. So if you believe this, if you believe that there is only one God, only one thing, only one being, that is worthy of your attention and worship, and you believe that Muhammad is his righteous messenger, I want you to say it with me. Please, say it with me, and embrace what you are destined to be. Embrace Islam. Raise your right hand and point your index finger. And this is a symbol that there is one God. 
not three, not four, not five, not a, not a thousand, not ten thousand. There is one God. And he's not divided into parts. He has different titles. He has 99 titles, actually. But there is only one God. So point that finger in the air and repeat after me. Ashadu, Allah, Ilaha, Illallah, Wa, Ashadu, Anna, Muhammada, Rasulullah. Now, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, if you've said that, please text us, email us, and let us know. We want to provide you with materials, books, etc., to help you on this new path. And we also want to celebrate. Now, we will not broadcast your name over the air. I know that some people are afraid of their family knowing. They're afraid of getting kicked out of the family. And that's, that's understandable. I'm not going to... I'm not going to make public anything that you don't want made public. If you have not said that, if you are still sitting here going, why do I want to convert to Islam, then please email us, contact us, let us know what it is that you're still curious about, what it is that's holding you back. Let us know what questions you still have. And I'll go ahead and give our information again. Our text number, which you can text to any time when I'm on the air, you can text to any time through the week, it's not a problem. I, I will answer and respond in one way or another to any text. It's 0922-604-4233. That's 0922-604-4233. Our email address is islamradio at yahoo.com that's islamradio at yahoo.com you can watch the videos of this program and the previous 14 programs on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash islamradio ph that's youtube.com slash islamradio ph and you can download or listen live to the audio. And we've got it loaded in MP3 format for podcasting at uh, islamradio.mypodcast.com. Now, of course, all of our online information is joint with The Message and Women in Islam. And uh, also, we will be podcasting The Message in Tagalog, which begins next Wednesday. Just as a reminder, next Wednesday from 7 to 8, Brother Raham Muhammad will be joining us uh, and producing everything in Tagalog. I was hoping that Brother Raham was going to be able to join us tonight, but um, it appears he's gotten hung up somewhere along the way, so um, perhaps he'll be able to take some time at the beginning of the show next week to introduce himself, and, um, and uh, hopefully you all will come to appreciate his talents as much as I have. So... Um, I just want to welcome Brother Raham Muhammad, even though he's not here, I want to welcome him wherever he is, to the family of programs sponsored by Lahubila Islamic Media Foundation and the Bonsai Masters of the Philippines. Dear listeners, I hope that you will join Brother Raham Muhammad every Wednesday night as he is bringing the past episodes that I've already broadcast of the message and will be translating it into Tagalog with his fantastic skills and great presentation. Inshallah, next Thursday, we'll be discussing the history of Islam in the Philippines, and Brother Rahlam will be discussing the reality of terrorism and nationalism and how it relates to Islam. So that'll be on Wednesday night. Again, that's the history of Islam in the Philippines on Thursday night in English, and terrorism, nationalism, and how it relates to Islam on Wednesday night with Brother Rahlam Muhammad. <coughs> Again, the message has been brought to you by Lihubila Islamic Media Foundation, the Bonsai Masters of the Philippines, and various donors from around the world. A very special thank you goes out tonight to the Conveying Islamic Message Society in Alexandria, Egypt. They have been providing us with Islamic books for 